In this video, I'm going to show you how we can implement dropzone.js in our view application. We're going to use this package. And if you want to see, there is an example which gives us the exact functionality. So let's get started. So the first thing which I'm going to do is I already have PHP artisan running. So I'll keep the npm run watch and these are the three things which I need to run for my inferno app to work something which you can skip for now this is nothing to do with the application which we are going to build so yeah let's first create our route so this is the authenticated pages let's say we are gonna create a media manager page so route get We will name this route as media manager and hmm. so do we have any existing controller let us quickly check that no we don't so why don't we do one thing we need to create one media controller at the rate index okay so which artisan make controller media controller and we need the resources as well okay so we have this controller here and in here in our index we'll just do return view and let me just quickly copy the view path from here okay so this is admin pages and then let's say we have media manager we don't need to send anything in the view okay so the next thing is we will create this view file inside pages uh, I don't want to add it right now okay and then why don't we copy and paste this so we have media manager for now we will click keep it blank uh, and then Yes, set up things something which is typical to my theme um, so I'll just remove this and this row as well table as well all content can go so body body yes so this is all what I need okay so let's see if we are able to load the page so this is media manager undefined variable options so we are somewhere referencing options this is the footer so now it should work okay so we have the basic page ready now let's quickly create inside resources assets js components a folder called media manager and in that we'll create sorry not a php file rather let's have a media manager html file i don't want to add that and media manager dot view file okay so far so good um we need to import the package obviously so let's uh, go to chrome and copy this do an npm install and in here let's now get back to our php storm 
basic markup dev wrapper in this let's have first section which is our drop zone wrapper so uploader wrapper and in this we need a close button and then the drop zone as well so why don't we do one thing in a p tag we have a span we pull it to the right and we will have a icon cross icon okay and then in here we will have our drop zone thing okay um, so let's see uh, I've been, I've been, yeah so we have downloaded the file uh, so the sorry the package so what does it say we need a font awesome or material icons that's fine we will do that so we need to import drop zone that's fine let's do that in our view manager template source will be media manager.html inside script tag oops sorry so we import it and then we need to do the component thing right so let's pick it up so we have components drop zone we need a methods uh, object and in that we will declare this method console.log file display the file okay and now inside this our HTML let's put the markup so so as you can see we have few parameters let me put full screen ID is fine then we have URL this is a uh, in a service where we can post anything and we will get the same thing back so I'm gonna use that um, what else do we need we would need later on the headers so I will show you although I'm not going to handle it right now in the, uh, we will you know the server side handling but we would need to pass the CSRF token right in our Laravel application that let's have a data method and we are gonna return an object okay um, so the first thing which we are going to add is show upload by default it will be false and let's have a CSRF header signal object okay and so what about this uh, oops so show upload this entire wrapper will be only visible when show upload is true okay and let's have a, another div in which we'll have a button on click of this we will do show upload equals true okay and v if not show upload okay um now let's do one thing we have written quite a lot of code but we haven't seen how this is coming up in the browser so app.js inside this let's quickly we are importing everything right so in here I will have media manager from components and then media manager slash view file and then I can do media manager so component is 
registered and what we need to do is simply take this and in our view file add that that should do the trick uh, okay we have this and click and we get the drop zone interface okay we haven't handled the click uh, in our HTML we on click let's say we do show upload equals false okay now with that okay this is coming a little in way right so what can we do about it it's in a p tag uh, for now i'll have some break later on i will handle it through css hmm, strange it's still not coming properly did i refresh it yeah okay so the cross button is here and if we click then we get the drop zone interface now you can see click upload is as a text we can show an icon this is a very small thing which with uh, no the plugin does so which is use font awesome we can set it to true and if we refresh we get an icon and there are a few things you know which you can play around with like the you know, thumbnail height thumbnail width but what i'm right now interested in is accepted file types we have to set that okay that will be equal to so i will add the file type you know, validation so we are on a, only going to take the images and no other files and then let's check if it is working so i click on add media click here and in, on my dashboard i have this file right so i can upload this okay and it should give me the success callback So you now we are able to upload, although this is not a server where any handling is done, but it is just giving me back the you know, request which I have sent. And if you see, I'm not able to upload any other file. So this particular file is a text file, which I'm not able to upload. Whereas if I remove this, save, and then if I refresh, sorry, you can see now i can upload this file okay so yeah that's how you know you can play around with a lot of these settings in here oh by the way i told you uh, we need to add the headers so that's something which is pending let us quickly do that in our view file we have this csrf header so let's have a created function in this um the header is actually x csrf token and that should be window laravel csrf token so if you are wondering how this is happening let me show you my master template okay um html blade and then header okay so header oops header dot php Partial CS. In this, if you see, I'm printing out the CSRF token. This token is being used, and so whenever we are going to make an HTTP call, a post call to our Laravel application, we will have the CSRF token, so we won't get the error. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you want to check, 
whether the header is coming or not we just clear it out add media uh, do we have a small screenshot okay we have that i think it should be a small one um file should be uploaded and yes so let us see what was the header like this is our post request in our headers hmm. we don't have oh i bet so we have this and then in our html i'm so sorry about that so we need to add that headers as an attribute so headers equals this okay and yeah let's create even a smaller screenshot so that it uploads quickly so add media upload file and hmm. that's strange we do have a csrf header while we are sending but that's in a strange way something must be wrong let's quickly check that i think i made a mistake headers so that is plural form i forgot the quotes and that's why it was not treating it as an object all right so last try again uh, upload this should work now this is not our post request this is yeah so we have our csrf token and if you see that's the same thing which is coming here right so yeah we are all set for using the drop zone we will handle the you know post request in our next video and create images and then put a small library in here thanks guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel